What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Get Famous here on Aviator Games and you guys, today, Quincy is going to finally tie the knot with Judith Ward. Yes, that's right, Quincy's getting married to a woman when he first saw her he thought, hey, that girl looks famous and rich and also beautiful and now he finally gets to tie the knot with her today but before we get into this episode guys do not forget to smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this series and you want more right now my upload schedule is tuesday thursday saturday sunday so if you want more videos smash that like button let's go for 700 likes on this video uh, quincy what are you Quincy's crying in bed right now because he hasn't been around someone as famous or more famous than him in a while. But don't worry, Quincy. I know it's been a hot minute, but we're going to call Judith over, okay, buddy? Can you stop crying in bed right now? We're going to call Judith over, and you and you guys can get married. You can have a beautiful wedding, and you, you can be happy because you're with someone that's more famous than you. And for some reason, that's one of your weird quirks, and I hate it. I'm kidding, Quincy. I don't hate you. I'm a little upset right now. Please don't take offense to it. I didn't mean anything by it, buddy, okay? So we're going to wait for Judith to get over here. Whenever she comes to our house, she always just stands on the road. It's like she wants to attract the paparuzzi. And I don't want the paparuzzi right here. There's a paparuzzi right there. Okay, Judith's out here. Let's go plan our wedding event with Judith. That will make us happier. You know, here she comes. Oh, she passed us. Judith. Judith, is Quincy getting fat? I think Quincy's getting fat, dude. Look at his butt, dude. That's a thick butt. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's plan a wedding. Okay, okay, okay. So a wedding. It's a gold event. Uh, no, do we need? No, we don't want to be running around doing things. We want to just have fun. Oh, God. Who should we invite to our wedding? It's got to be an awesome wedding, a, a thing that everyone wants to come to. So let's inv invite Thorn Bailey, Kendrick Bates. Let's invite Santa. You know, why not? Some ex-lovers, our old neighbors. Uh, you know, Holly Alto, because she would probably love to watch us celebrate our love. Am I right? Uh, I don't know who these people are, but we actually have friendship status with a couple of these people. There we go. Okay, so that's a pretty good invite list. Okay, now let's go to catering. I mean, we'll invite her to cater because I guess we didn't invite her to the wedding. Mixologist, we don't need a musician. I mean... Are we even going to have music? I don't know. We could have, like, a record player, right? Where do we want to have this wedding, though? That's going to be the only issue right now. It's finding a place to have the wedding. Ooh, Stargazer Lounge. Okay, I see you, Stargazer Lounge. What about Narwhal Arms? Ugh, some of these clubs suck, guys. I'm not going to lie. I don't like quite a few of them. The Gray Residence? <laughs> we could just have it at someone else's house. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just have it at the Stargazer Lounge, you know. A, 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 a skyline, street view, a beautiful type of a venue. We're going to have our wedding here. This is the place to have it. There's going to be so many people. It's going to be the event of a lifetime. Two very famous celebrities. We're a four-star celebrity. She's a five-star so, 9 out of 10 stars. <laughs> it's going to be a great wedding. I couldn't be more excited. Some tips for more successful events. Wedding brother needs a cake and a wedding arch. Well, I mean, I thought the venue was going to supply these things. But I, I guess not. I guess this venue hates hosting weddings. Okay, so I'm sorry. I was just I was getting very triggered. And now I, I'm feeling better. So, let's type in wedding. Okay. God, I'm so annoyed by this venue <laughs> not carrying its things for weddings. Okay, hold on. Where's where's the best view? I got an idea. Okay. So, <laughs> where do we want to have this? What if we... Okay, we're going to get rid of these. I know, I know, I know. This is probably not good for the environment. There we go. Beautiful. And then, do we need a wedding cake? Where's our person supposed to make all of our food? This isn't good. <laughs> Our caterer is going to be here. Oh, we should have hired a musician. What was I thinking? This wedding is going to be absolutely the worst. This is probably going to be one of the worst weddings ever. Okay, how about this? Uh, let's turn on um, uh, uh, pop music, right? Uh, turn on uh, pop music. Okay, so there. And then uh, change volume to high. We got to make sure this party is a big party. So there we go. We got music. We have, obviously, the gorgeous Judith Ward here. 
Holly is here as well. <laughs> Let's tell her a funny story. You know, funny story, Holly. I know we loved each other at one time, and I know things were looking really good for us, but I'm with Judith now, so... You know, we're having a very awkward encounter, which is the kind of encounter, uh, encounter you want to have at your wedding. How about this? I'll take a selfie with her, uh, and I'll sign her an autograph. That should make her feel better, am I right? Holly would love that, I'm sure. Oh, look, she does love it. Okay, <laughs> that's awkward. Uh, it'll just make us a little bit more famous, so that's all that matters. Wait, speaking of fame, we have fame points we can spend on things. What's this? Instant besties? What does that do? Sims can't help but be drawn by Quincy's charm personality. Greeting a sim with a casual word and a beaming smile is enough for them to be instant, instant feel at ease. Whoa, let's get that one. I like it. And then we still have another fame point. We can get more? Oh my god, what's this? Quincy will now be able to pull all nighter one tire, giving them a massive energy boost. Oh yeah. So now we're never going to be too tired. Oh my god. Okay, so this I don't know why we're talking to Holly during this. This is our wedding. I mean, it's supposed to be a more festive time. We should definitely thank all of our guests for coming. Let them know that we're very appreciative that they could make it to our busy big day, especially Santa Claus. I know the busiest time of the year was right around the corner for him just a couple days ago, but I'm happy he could make it to our wedding. Obviously, this is our neighbor. She's a little upset. She's sad. She wanted to be the one to marry Quincy. Especially because now he's a proper celebrity. Oh my god, she's alone. She's contemplating life. I feel really bad because this girl right here, Vanessa, was a pretty good one. She's still a notable newcomer, and I mean, Holly was a B-list celebrity. Oh god, look at they're getting together, and they're talking about how much they truly hate Quincy right now. I can't have this happening. Not at Quincy's wedding. Uh, well, okay, we're just going to ignore it for now. We're going to just go over here. Who is this? Whoa. <laughs> Let's thank her for coming. Olivia Moon. She could be future wifey material. Oh, well, <coughs> not saying that Quincy's going to have multiple wives or anything, but we should definitely thank this girl for coming, right? Like, oh my god. Okay, I mean, what? No, nothing. Stop it. Okay, let's get out of that awkward conversation and let's come over here. We're, we're making royalties when we're at our wedding. Okay, we're just trying to we're just trying to we're just trying to get it. We're going to we're going to we're going to thank her for coming. We're going to Get to know her a little bit, you know, we're going to uh, compliment her outfit because it's a very nice outfit, you know, just what a lovely thing to wear during our wedding. And here comes Quincy, he's finally going to talk to her. He's probably a little bit nervous over there. She is a B-list celebrity, so she we learned she's a good person. Let's ask her for a hug, you know. <laughs> it is our wedding day. Quincy, this is getting creepy. This is getting very creepy, Quincy. <laughs> okay, so we're going we're gonna to chit-chat with her. This probably isn't going to be good. Uh, Quincy, maybe we should just have you stop for right now because we, we do not want, we do not want you getting in trouble. Right now, your future wife is dancing over here. Um, let's, let's just, let's dance with Judith, okay? And that's probably the way to go. This is the way to go. We're gonna chit-chat and dance with Judith. We're trying to interact with her because we're not feeling very good about our, uh, our life right now, which isn't good. We shouldn't feel like this about our life decisions. Let's ask her for a hug. You know, we're just trying to feel better. We just we just want to feel... Uh, there we go. We feel better now. We talked with Judith. You know what? We're just ready. Let's just do it. You know, let's take the leap. Let's tie the knot. Okay, so let's get married to Judith Ward. We're going to have... You know, we're going to... Oh, we're going to come over here. And we're going to get married to the woman, or supposed woman, of our dreams. Judith Ward. Uh, you've been making some waves, haven't you, Quincy? The entertainment business would be a great place for someone as uh, reputed as yourself. No amateur acts for you. We can get you right in front of your fans as an opening act. Decline offer, dude. Sorry. We're famous. We're an actor. Oh my God, look at the sun. It's in the wrong spot. It's not going to make the best screenshots. Don't think no, I have to make thumbnails for YouTube. Is she pregnant? <gasps> oh my God, I think the pregnancy thing worked. I think Judith is pregnant, dude. She's got a belly. Oh my God, the paparazzi, the papa, pooparuzzi, the poopers, they're going to know that we got Judith pregnant and that we're getting married because we got her pregnant. Oh, no, look at Judith's belly. Okay, let's just calm down. I'm sure no one's going to notice that Judith has put on 30 pounds overnight. <laughs> okay, let's just keep this wedding thing going. Let's exchange our vows, you know. So we're exchanging our vows. The ceremony's beautiful. It's it's amazing. And then let's get married to her. Okay, that's what we want to do. That That's what we've come for. Oh my gosh. She just put... Wait, what? <laughs> she put a diamond ring on it, dudes. Oh no. Are we Judith's property? 
Okay, let's see. Oh, gosh. Quincy, the sun is not very flattering to you right now. Stop it, son! Don't you know I'm trying to shoot a video? God, I feel like a wedding videographer here, and I'm just so upset with the placement of the sun. It's not my client's fault, but come on. Fine, whatever. You get it. I Fine, you don't get a picture of your wedding. How does that sound? Does that feel good, Quincy? Let's see what he does. When's he gonna make it happen? Oh my god. I mean, in this situation, Quincy is really being manhandled here. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's being... He's being, like, groped. Let's just take this picture. Just so we can remember this glorious occasion. Oh, look at that. That is... Ooh, this is very romantic. I'm liking it. I am liking this. Oh, yeah, I like it. Okay, so <laughs> Quincy and Judith have been officially married. Why is no one cheering? Cheer! Cheer louder! We're very confused as to why no one's cheering for us. And Judith is wondering if we're wearing heart-shaped panties. Okay, well, the wedding's over, guys. We're ending this thing early. Uh, would you like to move in together now? Sure. <laughs> What's going to happen? Wait, hold on. Whose house are we moving into? <gasps> Ooh, we should have Judith move into Oh, she's rich Okay, we should have Judith move into our house Oh, yeah Oh, Okay, let's see We're gonna have her move into our house And then we can buy our own Hollywood mansion In the next episode, I like that Bye, Judith, and your old grandma house that no one likes See you later, grandma Judith I mean, sorry, wife Judith now Oh, what? $3,800? Wait, well, hold on now. Oh! $578,000? She was worth $550,000! Oh, my gosh! Okay, so that's a lot of money. Let's go home because, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I mean, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, we are now wicked rich. It feels amazing. Um, Judith, uh, we should test if you're pregnant just to make sure, you know. Uh, throw up. Oh, what? <laughs> She can just, she can just throw up whenever she wants. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh! Look at this. She can throw up on command, guys. Look at this. That's a little messed up. <laughs> Is this like a bulimic trait? Oh, oh, oh! Happy wedding. Oh, oh! Oh, guys, are you disturbed? I'm disturbed. Is this like bulimia? I mean, I'm feeling very bulimic tendencies over here. Let's just let, let's just see. Oh. Oh no! Let's just let's just see this one more time, just to make sure, you know that she's that that that, that this is what I'm witnessing. You know? Oh yeah, that's that's horrible. <laughs> oh, it's like shooting out of her nose. Oh, Judith! Oh, baby Jesus! Oh, Santa Claus! Okay, so that's enough of that. That's. Enough. Let's clean this with Viger. How about that? And let's mop up this like mad. Quincy's like, I love having a wife. <laughs> He's got like 500,000 extra dollars, but he does have this wife that just is puking everywhere. Uh, so we can't woohoo to have a baby. So we, uh, she's got to be pregnant, guys. She's pregnant. Hold on. I can probably see this. Yeah, she's eating for two and second trimester is in two hours. Oh, my God. She's going to be having the baby any day now. Okay, well, we're going to consummate the marriage because, you know, uh, there we go. Because you got to uh, you got to consummate the marriage to make it a, a for real deal. And I think she's going to need a makeover. Oh, my God. What's happening? Oh, God. Ah, Judith, what are you doing? Oh, God, her pelvis just moved. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. Get me out of here. Oh, my God. I just died twice. I am not doing that ever again. I'm sick now. Ooh. Okay, well, this is going to be our last day living in this house. I mean, it was a nice house when it lasted. I can't wait, though, to get into a bigger mansion. I'm not going to lie. A mansion, guys, is going to be pretty sick. But we should give, you know, our girl Judith just a quick makeover. You know, um, like a uh, <sighs> plan outfit. I mean, try out outfits, wear celebrity disguise. Is it plan outfit? Change sim? Is that what it is? I don't know what I'm trying to do. We're going to try to give her a new outfit. 
just so she looks a little bit better okay <laughs> uh, that sounds horrible um, I think you know okay so at night I think you know she should wear nothing right is that is that is that good uh, is that good outerwear just like nothing what's this head thing this should go away too you know um, that can go away uh oh Judith I accidentally got rid of your hair so what what hair would you like to wear to bed uh, Judith, you look pretty old. <laughs> no offense, Judith. What? But now that I'm looking at you here, oh Jesus. Okay, so she's got this hairdo. Okay, so let's let's let, let's it, let's let it be consistent. Okay, at least to a point. Let's get her that hairdo back. I mean, or is this the old hairdo that no one likes? Maybe she needs to freshen things up. God, her face looks just very old. Um, I mean. Uh, how do I change that? <laughs> That's horrible. That is horrible. Judith is going to go get plastic surgery one day, and that I'm going to feel horrible because we're just horrible people. Here, let's exit her face. <gasps> Ooh, de-wrinkling tool. I like it. Oh, now she's blue. I am a fan of it. Okay, so hold on. What if we changed up her face a little bit? Now, that's not Judith, though, so let's undo that because that's not the woman we've fallen in love with. But what we can do is go to makeup, you know, and give her a whole new look. You know, we can go give her a, a new spicy, a spicy look on life. Now, this is her sleep time look, so I actually think no makeup for this is probably the way to go. And, and obviously, no necklace. Like, <laughs> you know, you're sleeping, for God's sakes. Um... So what we're going to do is let's see what kind of full body outfits we can have her wear for bed. You know, because we don't need her to be naked running around the house. So let's put her in something like this. You know, that's fun. You know, it, it, it makes the it makes the kids happy. And then for this outfit, maybe we try putting her in something else. You know, something a little bit more like I'm trying to be young and uh, I'm living wild and free. You know, like maybe something like this. Or like this. That's very fun for Judith. And then this one, you definitely got to go with like this gold dress. I think she's a, a fox, you know. Got to put the black dress on maybe. And then I think with this one, workout wise, we're going to want to get her in something like this. Maybe she's trying to, you know, is trying to stay young, stay, stay fresh, stay, stay, stay woke. And then this one's like a red runway dress. And then I could definitely see her in like a hat or something like this, like 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 uh -huh. this, like that's so Judith, that's so you Judith. Look at you, maybe this is Judith too. This is definitely Judith too, okay. And then the hot clothes, like if she's feeling warm one day, woo hoo! And then we're gonna go with something like that, you know. She's gotta try to stay warm. But I mean, that's not bad. I mean, her hair might maybe need a, a, a do over at one point. I don't know if I want to commit her to new hairstyle, though, because, you know, you got to love the Judith that we fell in love with. You know, you don't want to go too crazy. Don't want to make her too different. You know, she's got to still be that Judith Ward. Oh, look at this. Her hairstyle came out of the 50s, and now she's in the late 90s. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Maybe she she went and she she's getting a more refined look. Because, you know, Hollywood has been so cruel to her, so she wanted to spice things up a bit, you know? Look at that, you know, she's she's starting with a, a fresh new everything. And, and and I think that's that's a pretty that's a pretty good it's a pretty bold look for for Judith, okay? And then maybe when she's feeling fancy, you know, maybe she wears her hair up in the old style, like the way she was known in the movies back in the fifties. You know? <laughs> so that's fancy, Judith. This is every day, Judith. This is workout, Judith. So, you know, when she's feeling fancy, you know, maybe she puts her hair up when she goes to bed. When she goes out to party, you know, and in the pool and, and all these other situations, so you can have her hair like that. It's it's very mom-esque because she's about to be a mom. So this, that, that, I, I mean, I feel it a bit. Yeah, I feel it just a little bit. We're going to we're gonna save it for now. We're going to table it. You know, come back to it at another day. But for now, this works just enough. You know, it, it's going to excite Quincy. And, you know, she's pregnant, so she's going to be having a baby, like, any minute now. But, guys, this is where we're going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn those notifications on if you're new. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.